Hello everyone. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial video for making destructible trees, a new feature we added to destroy it. We've also put together a PDF guide for people who prefer written instructions. You can find a link to this guide in the description below the video. So let's get started. First I'm going to create a new scene and save it. I'll just name it New Scene. All right. Once we've done that, I'm going to add a terrain, and I'm just going to add the one from our demo scene. And you can see in the bottom right, it's trying to bake the lighting. So I'm just going to turn that off. Under Lighting Settings, and turn off mixed lighting. One thing we want to do when making destructible trees is go to your terrain and uncheck the enable colliders because destroy it will handle making the colliders for the trees. Next we're going to import a terrain tree from the standard assets out on the Unity Asset Store. For the written instructions, I use the broadleaf tree. For this video, I'm going to use the conifer. Once this is imported, I'm going to drag the tree into the scene. And first, I'm just going to zoom down to the terrain. So the one I want to drag into the scene is the one with the little green speed tree icon. There we have our conifer. And this is going to become our destroyed prefab. So the first thing we're going to do is unpack the prefab. And then there's all these collision objects that represent leaves. And I don't want those. Mainly we just want the main tube collider here when the tree falls. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all those leaf colliders. This main tree collider here looks a little large. So I'm going to actually go and reduce that a little bit. That may be a little too small. Okay, that looks about right. The next thing we'll do is for each of these LOD levels, we'll change the material from the Nature Speed Tree to Destroy It Speed Tree. And what this will do is it allows it to lock in the hue variation when the tree is destroyed so that it doesn't change color as it moves. So we'll go ahead and change the shader on each of the materials for each of these LOD levels. And I'll speed the video up here. So the next thing I'm going to do is check the rigid body. We can see that this one already has a rigid body, but its mass is 1, and it's kinematic. So for a smaller tree like this, a thinner, I'd change this to something like 10, or maybe 20. And for the drag, I like to add a little bit of drag, not too much. 0 0.05 works well. Then we need to make sure we turn gravity on and turn is kinematic off so that it'll fall naturally. Another thing I like to check is to make sure that the collider on the tree doesn't go under the terrain. So if that happens, it's going to pop up, and I can see that that one probably is. What I'm doing here is going in 2D mode, and then zoom in, and I can see that it goes under the terrain. 
So I want that to be flush with the actual tree so that it just tips over. So there's multiple ways of doing this, but what I'm doing is just adjusting the height until it's flush with the terrain. That looks about right. Get back out of 2D, center it by clicking F. And I'm going to rename this underscore DEST, since this will be our destroyed prefab. And then I'll drag this into the project pane to save it as a prefab. And one other thing we need to do on a tree like this that has a single cylindrical collider is freeze the Y rotation. This will keep it from rolling around on the ground after it's fallen. Once we're done, we save it to the prefab by clicking Override and apply All. And since we no longer need this game object in our scene, I'm just going to delete it. We still have our saved prefab right here. So the next thing we're going to do is make the pristine version of our destructible tree. We'll drag the original speed tree prefab into the scene again. And this time we're not going to worry about deleting the leaf colliders. So just like before, we need to right click and choose Unpack Prefab. And next we need to add the destructible component. For something like a tree, I like to add more hit points, something like 200. And then for our destroyed prefab, we want to choose the one that we created previously. And then one of the thing I like to do is add a hit effect. We can select the tree trunk collider and then add component, hit effects. And then we just need to select our wood bullet hit effect. We're finished, so we'll rename this pristine and drag it to the project pane to save it as a prefab. We no longer need it in the scene, so we'll delete the game object. And now we're going to paint them on the terrain. So we'll click the Paint Trees icon and then add our new pristine tree. And the brush here is always a little big, so I'm going to reduce the size of that. That's a few too many trees. I want them spaced out a little bit, so I'm going to reduce this brush size a little bit more. Another feature that ships with this update is the ability to set up a first person controller quickly. Just choose Destroy It, Set Up First Person Controller. It'll disable your main camera in the scene, and then it puts this first person controller here that should be set up with the weapons. The next thing we need to do is choose Window, Destroy It, Set Up Destructible Trees. Then you'll get a pop up here that tells you two important pieces of information. One is that you need to uncheck the Enable Tree Colliders on your terrain, which we already did, and the other is that you need to click the Update Trees button on the Tree Manager, which we'll do that in a moment. So we see here the new game object with the Tree Manager script on it, and we're going to click the Update Trees button, and doing that we see our Conifer Desktop Pristine Prefab, and these are actually stand-in objects that destroy it creates for the terrain trees. Just be sure to click update trees anytime you add new trees to your terrain. And that's it. We run the scene and we go and shoot our tree. We can see the hit effect. And then when it's destroyed, the terrain tree is seamlessly replaced by the destroyed prefab. Thanks for watching this video and we hope you found it useful.